right guys, the early bird gets the worm. I'm here with Courtney once again from Cape Ann Towing. And you said yesterday, this video will be very unusual. Yeah. What makes it so unusual, Courtney? What's what's the... Well, we don't, we don't do a lot of these yacht carriers. You know, they're maybe only in, I don't know, 12 times a year. Okay, so for those that don't know, let me get up front while we start this video, guys. We are in Port Everglades, and let me show you guys what's going on here. So, you guys know how these yachts get to the Palm Beach Boat Show? Well, if you don't know, now you're going to know. So Courtney, that boat completely goes underwater for about... It, it's, it ballasts itself down to make the yachts float that are inside it. Uh, unreal, dude. Look at this, guys. Okay, so... It's too bad we didn't get a shot of it yesterday when it was, you know... When it was closed. Totally flo flood, uh, floated. That is just so wild. Okay, so, so our job... Mind you, they probably didn't see the video of the emergency that you went ahead and helped. But we're just standby today. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, so what Courtney was explaining to me is these, these ships could what channel sometimes- are we working? Could come, sometimes come so, over, from overseas, right? right? So there are okay, maybe two, three yeah, weeks without by. starting up, the batteries are dead. So they're on standby just in case <laughs> these guys can't get the boats out themselves. Yep, understood. Yep. Okay, no problem with standing by. There's Chris in the background. If you guys haven't met Chris, he was in the last video. Steel seems to be using it as well. Since the early bird gets the worm, we're gonna see you watch uh, you eat your breakfast there. <laughs> My oatmeal. <laughs> oh. And uh, yes, you guys should see the other videos. Make it to 61. <laughs> Listen, every every day I wake up with a new pain, a new problem. Yeah. At least we're waking up, right? So so I was watching the video of. Chris, yesterday on yesterday's video, how he full throttled that, looking like a midnight express going to the other. <laughs> I, these, that Is tug, he going forward that, or back? Listen, that tug, you know, the same that I have is called trim down for what? He was like, for what? Let's just go. But it was it was cool footage. I, I hope they, they watch that video as well. Guys, absolutely awesome content. So, so glad that I'm able to show you guys some of this. Now, yesterday, uh, Courtney's right. Maybe may, we didn't get close enough to it um, to show how there's a there's essentially a door there. So when it's traveling. So, so if your perception was that these yachts drive themselves um, from overseas, you're absolutely mistaken. How wild is this? Huge, huge, huge cargo ship as well. So it's always suspended. Like right now, it's they're they're in the water, but but typically when they're out at sea, they're suspended on what? They're sitting on jack stands and blocks, just like like a you regular would sit yard. The boat yard. Wow. Yep. That is so wild.
Yacht Express is the name of this cargo ship, guys. And we're right here in the Port of Miami. I'm sorry, Port of Everglades. Okay, just just because I'm trying to figure out and understand. So some of them can be new boats, new yachts, and some are just some can be new yachts. People that are that are just bringing their boats back. Yep. Or, or shipping them somewhere else. Unreal. So sometimes they'll stay on here and go to the next destination. Yeah, they just fly out to their spot, right? Why risk going through the Atlantic on? Yeah. Just go ahead and pay one of these carriers to take it. There's a lot of big, big uh, boats on there, guys. A lot. Now, is that the only thing that they would carry that way, or is there other things that you've seen them carry? I've seen them carry oil field equipment. Oil field, like, okay. Yeah. From, from one place to another, wow. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes they would carry uh, the big gantry cranes that you see lifting containers for the port. Look at that. Guys, look at this. And then the captain. So I'm assuming most of these boats have their own captains right now. So the captain of the vessel is on board, ready to, to start coming out. Ready to tell the engineer to, to start up. Okay. Make sure all the systems are working and then come up. So how long could this process be for you guys? An hour? Probably a couple of hours. Yeah? Yeah. All right, guys. So. Wow, how wild is this? So, there is a captain by the name of Captain Boomies, and that's B-O-O-M-I-E-S, Captain Boomies on Instagram. She also has a YouTube channel. She does a lot of these pickups. So, I've seen it that she'll captain one of the, the yachts that she was, you know, ready to take back to where, wherever they got to go. And so, yes, there's a lot, a lot of people that do this. Day. And you see, obviously, there's a huge line right there holding the ship, but that, that's going to obviously have to be moved. You got Chris over there on uh, the other tug. And this is early morning, guys. Sunrise is a just, just came up. So, Courtney, you're saying that uh, these guys on the other crew had a uh, a little situation with a, a yacht that when they went to go meet up with them, that was their good morning wake up call? Yeah, they ran aground on the way up to the meeting spot. Oh my goodness. So what happens at that point? You just pull them out? You have to pull them off. That's a, a whole different problem. Yeah. So they're supposed to meet up and they ran aground. And, I mean, I've been showing you guys some videos that I've done with Towboat US. We haven't seen any grounders yet, but but we have saved. Uh, and I, and I, guys, I, I do videos all the time with different companies, and you know my, my goal now, is always to show you guys. So right now, I'm talking about my mouth full, but right now the divers are in the water, knocking down the jack stand. So there's divers in the water, dude. Yeah. That's so wild. So once those are all knocked down, then the uh, loading master will tell the boats to start up. Okay. Well, obviously, they got to be out of the water too. Yeah. Dive with them out of the water. How wild is that? Somebody there with a with a scuba tank just basically knocking stuff out. Probably five or six guys. Could you imagine just explaining to somebody that that's my job? That this is what I do. Yeah, I'm on a I'm on a ship. It sinks itself, and then yachts come out of it. Yeah. Wild.
All right, well, so here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna give you guys multiple angles. So I'm gonna set up a different camera so you guys can see a little bit of everything. And maybe we can get a little closer. Um, Cause I can get somewhat closer with this. But if you saw the previous video that we did uh, with Cape Ann, we've done several already, okay? But, but, but things change immediately. So there is a, um, an emergency scenario which both Chris and Courtney were able to, to handle quickly. But yeah, I want to get a little closer, so I'm going to get on the other camera. I'm assuming at some point they got to they gotta remove that line from the, sh the ship, right? They'll, they'll just re uh, release it on the ship and it'll sink down to the water. Okay, so from that side and then just drop it and then... Yeah. Okay. So that's a permanent line here then, more than likely. That, that actual line that's here on, on, the, on the port? What is it? It's a permanent line? Is it, is it their line? Oh, or yeah, do they keep line. it here? It's yeah. their line, okay. Yeah. dropped it and now they're gonna start getting it from the winch up there that's gonna start winching it there it is oh man what a process guys what a process fregata it's fregata not forgotta fregata is getting a little bit out of his way and now do we have anybody that needs assistance yet or no not yet not yet okay all right i see chris getting close now just a question because i'm sure i'll get it in the comment section do the people that are shipping their boats, yeah. are they allowed to be on that huge Yacht Express? On so the way- During the shipment. Uh, during the shipment. Yes. They are? Yes. So they, they'll have rooms on board for them or, or do they stay I, I in their own this, yachts? I think this particular yacht carrier does have accommodation. Wow, dude, that is pretty wild. Yeah. I've heard that this one even has like a swimming pool. A swimming pool? Yeah. <laughs> so there's like a, it's like a cruise ship for commercial guys. All right, um, we have not been on the ship guys, so we can't tell you, I can't personally validate. And uh, Courtney just said he's not sure. So, but it would be cool if, if, if it did have that, imagine. All right, so we got another one coming out here. It looks like a smaller boat as well. All right, we're two in so far that we've removed. How awesome is that? I'm assuming there's a limit on size on something like this, right? Yeah, they've hauled some pretty big boats on these things. Yeah. Panama City Beach. Uh oh, we got something Go we gotta call. We gotta hey, just to play it safe, this small and train to sell you, we're gonna pull out and leave it on the cyber cases. All right, which one's that? 
I gotta get out of the way. Give me Kenny! A What's going on? Yeah. I gotta go grab that sailboat and put it on the outside of the ship. Nice day for it. Alright, I gotta move this, guys. Alright, we actually have to do something. <laughs> Alright. Let me get this out of your way then. Take your time. Let me grab something. Yeah, just hold this for a second. Just, just let me get this out of the way. We're in the ship now. Let me get out of here. Guys, we're inside the ship right now. This is so wild. Blue sky, blue sky is next. Okay, Chris is over there. How wild is this, dude? What's going on, man? Thank you. All right, let's see what Courtney's got going on. <laughs> Dude, what an unbelievable video, dude. This is wild. We're inside of a ship right now. Oh, look at the bird right next to... Hey, that bird wanted to say good morning. Yeah. yeah. Wonder if he came from Costa Rica. Probably, right? Think about that. He just hung out there the whole time. Could have. He doesn't have to fly all that way now for the spring migration. Unreal. All right, blue sky is next, guys. <laughs> look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Look, he doesn't want to leave. He doesn't want to leave. Look at him. That is... We got to name that guy. Yep, we're all set to go. Look at him there. He's confused. He's like, yo, why is it so hot down here? He, he, he's like, why is it so hot down here? Yeah. Alfred Montaner on YouTube. Watch, watch for yes. the uh, watch for the rudder to flop. Back. Alfred, Alfred Montaner. Alfred Montaner, Montaner with an M. Thank you, Montaner. Hey, tell him to move some fenders over to. There's, there's not many. I only, I only see one, maybe two. Okay. Yacht Express staff, guys. All right, one has come out of the ship. Maria Blue Sky, Maria Blue Sky. Do you need a couple more minutes? Because I can discharge some sport fishes if you like. Right. All right. Is that radio? You guys running or not? You weren't lying when you said this would be highly unusual. It's, it's fascinating to see how this happens. Yeah, it, it's too bad you can't get some footage of the deck when it's... When it's completely up, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe you can find some images online or yeah. something so people can see. Maria Blue Sky, Maria Blue Sky. All right, guys, Blue Sky is up next. Now, we're here along the wind, wings, giving the captain of this boat
Wow. Is there a captain on that boat? No. There's none. They call that a trans, trans uh, transit ship. Okay. Okay. So, so you... it's probably going to Europe. So we're just moving it. Everybody's getting off. We'll put it back in the ship, and they'll put it where they want it. Okay. That's why he's still on board. Yeah. That's just that's just one of the crew members from the ship. Okay. And wow, <laughs> <laughs> this is cool, dude. Can't tell him. They're all in communication right yeah, here. There's a blue sky, and they'll just, yes. just dock it here along the, on no, the ship. That's, 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 uh, okay. Something tells me artificial intelligence ain't gonna take over this type of work. What do you guys think? Mate, mate, mate. I'm gonna pass you this line. Modia Blue Sky, Modia Blue Sky, just confirming you're up and ready to go. Blue Sky, he's calling you on the radio. Modia Blue Sky, Modia Blue Sky, copy on channel 17. <coughs> he's coming to the radio, Henry. Yeah, this is Blue Sky. Oh, we got one, one off. This is Blue Sky, go ahead. This is Blue yep, Sky right here. Confirming you're ready? Yep, just let you know we're ready for you if you're ready to go. Yep, we're ready to go. Thank you. That's Look at the railings. Whatever you need, it's just something. There's Chris doing what Chris does. The last video I was showing how Chris does the throttles. So you guys can get a little bit of taste of that. And now this uh, really, really massive yacht. How big do you think that blue sky is? That blue sky, that's like oh, what? One, 140, 140, 150? <laughs> that, is, that was pretty cool. Like just, weaving in there and, and getting that sailboat out and just just to think that you're on a ship inside of a ship yeah. with a boat Different. it's just hard to consider so right, there's blue. a big tanker coming in there on the oh channel. yeah oh that's why those big tugs were coming out yeah. all right so yes huge tanker ship See, uh, look, I don't have the other camera, but it's fine. Um, it's a big boy, though. And this is a big boy, too, right here. All right, we're, we're back in position. We're waiting for Blue Sky to come out. These are jobs that a lot of times people don't see. He's coming out slowly, slowly but surely he's coming out. You, you, you see how Chris is right there just in the event for anything. 
So, so Chris is there if he needs a little push off if or he something. Needs a push, he's there, but he yeah. won't. Yeah. You know, if it, if it was windy, sometimes it could, it's windy and the you know wind bounces off the side of the ship and and it can move them a little bit. Stuff. So, yeah. But it's such a beautiful day. Yeah. There's there's not a drop of wind today. No wind. No wind, guys. Um, no tide not. in this berth to speak of. Looks like Blue Sky is ready to roll. Rodeo Blue Sky, BYT just wants to say thank you for everything, guys. Thank you on our side. Thank you so much for getting here safely. It was a long trip. <laughs> Such a pretty ship. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot of real estate that was just captured on this uh, Yacht Express. Now, if you guys have not seen the videos that I've done out Cody, of the New Cody, River. Cody, Henry. Oh, there's Courtney getting a call. Hey, once I get rid of the sail yacht, this princess that I'm on, I might just to save time, we just hook up and tow it to the inside of the ship on the starboard side, because there's a mega yacht coming over here. So just stand by, stand by. Okay, just let me know. We'll Thank you. That's a big ship, guys. Why, why would they have that tape on the side of the of of the of the yacht? That's just positioning or something. That that may show the ones up up high where the guys are standing. That could possibly be where the stabilizer fins are. Okay. And the ones at the back on the uh, big out, you want big out? All right, guys. We got a yacht. Um, Cape Ann towing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sport fish just got out as well. I'm doing good at it. Beauty, beauty. Okay. I was saying, uh, the New River is where I've filmed a lot of these yachts coming in and out of. So they, they might be stationed or have their docks uh, at some of the marinas okay. uh, along the New River. Be beautiful boats I film on the, it's called New River Boats. It's a, it's a cool series that I do here in Fort Lauderdale. Fort, Fort Lauderdale is a beautiful place to come visit as well. All right, blue sky's gone. This must be a great feeling for these guys, especially if they've been on board for the truck, right? Wherever they're coming from. So looks like these guys are probably doing a fishing tournament. And uh, because I think they said Costa Rica. If I'm not mistaken, there was a there was a tournament in Costa Rica not too long ago. So we do have another call coming in now um, to go back into the ship. Big O is gone. That's some cool stuff, dude. Another beautiful sport fish. Now, recently I um, I had done a video on the OBX in the Outer Banks of North Carolina, and I passed through Bayless and Spencer yachts, and you know we passed through and we did a video with Valentino boats. So the 
other ones, they could possibly designate the end of the keel or the you know the propellers, the running gear, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Possibly a bulkhead inside where they want a block to be. You, know, to you would think with some of the weather they they probably get that, that's probably like a maybe two three week journey probably in some cases. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you I mean, you're from Costa Rica. I don't think it's that long, but. You yeah, know, but overseas, if you're going, going over to Europe, yeah, you're definitely. going over to Europe. You're you're gonna see some yeah. some weather. All right, we got some here. Are you guys even counting? That's the question. Are you guys even counting? How long would it take them to come up? Like once they re re bring the boat back up. Have you ever seen that process? It, it takes them a few hours. A couple hours. Bodhi, a blue sky. I would just give way of that tanker ship. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Henry, are you expecting Helios? Maddie and Ascari, Maddie and Ascari, you'll be the next shot captain. Maddie and Ascari, you'll be the next shot captain. All right. Yeah, now, all right, well, we're all good to go. We'll be ready. Perfect. Just make sure the line handles are there. Yep, Cap, I'm ready for you. I do believe you might have a line on your starboard side. I'm not too sure if that's for the metal team. Or but just double check your line before you cast off, Cap. No worries, cheers. tell my wife, hey, I'm going to take a two-week vacation. I'm going to take a nice little trip on the Yacht Express. I heard they got a nice swimming pool. <laughs> I'll be like, Henry, put me in, coach! <laughs> it's kind of fun. I think, I think there's some cargo ship companies where uh, they actually take passengers. Well, I'll tell you, um, I, I, I think just like whenever you're in such a closed environment, you get to meet also so many different personalities, right? Yeah. So it's always interesting. Yeah. So, uh, so I think that's the cool thing yeah, about we, it. We, oh, we got something going on over here. Let me confirm with the crew, yep. Courtney, let me ask you, have you recognized any of these boats, any of these yachts that you've towed uh, along the New River or anything? I, honestly, I haven't taken a look at what's in there. Ascari was one that just passed by. Yeah, I haven't no. seen that one. The name is familiar. I've seen that one down the New River as yeah, well. The name is familiar. Blue Sky, I've never seen her before. And she just went out to sea. I've, I think I've, I've worked this Westport. This is a Westport 130. Okay. Uh, Harmony up here. Okay. I've done that one before. When you think about it, there's probably worth more than a billion dollars worth of ships on this ship. Yeah. <laughs> when so you add the, the numbers. Shirt, that's Henry, he's the load master. That's Henry. Yeah. So he's he's working everything. Yeah. He's, he runs the show. All right, guys. So Henry's the one who's who's running everything on. Now you are going to see a lot of traffic coming in and out of here uh, because the Palm Beach Boat Show, right? So a lot of boats are stationed, a lot of these yachts are stationed here in Fort Lauderdale and they'll drive to the Palm Beach uh, Boat Show, which is not too far from here, but it, it is, it's a little trek. Um, See, Henry's on the radio right now, talking to, to people. Um, I think he, uh, Courtney said they're on 14 right now. Couple more 
sailboats along the way. Okay, so so look, these this look you see how these are identical ship uh, identical yachts and this looks like it's another one right so these look like they're 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 yachts that are going to the palm beach show see courtney seeing these three identical yachts right like those two over there and now this one over here those yeah. are probably going to the boat show right more than likely probably in palm beach because they're starting set up now. They're yeah. just starting today, literally. Yeah. Today's that, the day that, they start set up. I just took a call for one going up next Friday, coming down the river. Okay. That that's exactly because today is today's when they actually start setting up the actual show, and it takes them about two weeks. Yeah. And the and the Palm Beach show has grown considerably. Yeah. Palm Beach is a big show. It's a very good show, guys. You gotta see that. Um and I would love to do a video showing the setup of that show with, uh, with the team over there at Informa. <coughs> That's a pretty cool name, huh? Sex C. We got a call. You see how, and I knew that that was kind of one of the cases because I saw that first boat just hanging out waiting for them, right? Yeah, those must be a manufacturer down in yeah, yeah. Mexico somewhere, somewhere, well, maybe Australia. Yeah, so so I I this year I went in the beginning of the year to the to the Dusseldorf uh, Germany boat show. Wow, awesome show, right? Um, and I started seeing how on the Rhineland River that they, they actually, I mean, I didn't see it there when I was there because I was there for the show, but they actually get a, like these massive yachts. Yeah off of a river and just put them in indoors. Everything is indoors. indoors. It's crazy. Massive. I'm talking about boats this size or bigger. God. So yes, fascinating to see that. All right, guys, we're All going right, in. So we we're got just going to shift this, this little motor yacht from the uh, port quarter over to the starboard quarter for some reason. All right, we got Let's Go uh, is, is out of here. In the ship again, guys. We're in the ship again. So much. Oh, there is small boats there. Chris just said he's hooked up. And uh, this is just going to the other side. 
so they can start working some of these other buds. Now, I'm assuming you were seeing straps as opposed to lines right now because all Give these are strapped down. a little bit of a down. forward lead. Yeah. I'm Mark Now, you have another one that's able to come out because this one is no longer in the way. And I don't know if Harmony that's right behind us is leaving right now. <coughs> Just through the lines. So Harmony might not be leaving right now. This one here. And it looks like they might be staying. Yeah, it looks like it because yeah. if they're moving this one over here, you would think that probably got another destination. I'll, I'll find out what that is in a minute. All right, Chris is done on his side as well. is this system of having yacht carriers like this is this like a fairly new thing the last 30 40 years or i think so you would I mean, think I, I did one back when i first started in 1989. one of these 
In 89? Yeah, it was called the United Yacht Transport way back then. Now, it wasn't as big, right? I, I wouldn't assume. Well, it was a different ship. Different. Yeah, I think the ship was called the Super Servant 4. Interesting. How somebody said, hey, why don't we just make a, yeah. a huge ship and ship all our yachts? That, that ship was, uh, I think that ship was originally designed to carry oil field equipment. Yeah. And now these ships are kind of designed to carry yachts. Well, you know, buddy of mine's in, in, um, in Georgia, in St. Simon, Georgia, uh, a gentleman by the name of Andy Jones. He actually filmed in St. Simon, Georgia, a car carrier that went aground and literally tipped over with oh, thousands yeah, of cars. Yeah, I, I remember that one. I remember you know, that. and what ended up happening is they actually used some oil, um, so a, a machine, it's a big cr like crane that they were used for the oil industry and they modified it to cut the ship. Um, crazy, incredible footage. He did a whole series on that. It was just crazy. Somebody, and Somebody told me it was chain. Yes. Was pulling back and It forth. was chains, yes. And that's what it was cutting the ship. And cars were falling out of it, and it was it was crazy. It was it was a car carrier. I think it was called the Golden Ray. Um, he did an incredible series. Uh, if if you haven't seen it on YouTube, guys, check it out. Menorcan Mullet is his name, uh, and he would go on his boat every single day and film everything. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. The whole. I mean, everybody would like. What are they doing today? Caught fire a couple times. And, but think about it, it was a nightmare for, for yeah, that was like a the long locals. Yeah, project too. It was like yeah. a year or something. Yeah, right? it, was, it was a long project, guys. <coughs> They're saying something now. People are starting to wake up on the cruise ships already. Um, you know, visually, uh, the question I had is if they, if they take smaller ships or smaller boats. And at the very, very end, there's some small boats there. Well, a lot of these yachts have their tenders. Yeah. So the tenders have to go also. Yeah, absolutely. So. Yes. So I'm sure probably, unless it's with their tender, right? Why are you going to want to take so much valuable real estate from, you know, such a big yacht to, to carry, you know? Yeah. You know, you, you figure it'd be more cost effective to do it with the big boys, right? That's what this is kind of for. But I'm sure that there's other ways of... I know a lot of people put them in containers, depending on the size, and they just yeah. ship them. So, I see a lot of people here. Also, are they waiting on the bridge? There, there. Are some of these, some of these are, are going to come in. I think. Oh, so that's that's going to be interesting as well. Hey, my G, hey, my so, G, this is Shadow Vessel Blue Eater, Blue Eater. See, they're, they're waiting. Okay, so so now you have to be on standby for them. Uh, or no? Probably not. Okay. Because they're already in motion. They're all, they're all running. Okay. Sometimes we do stand by. We've just uh, passed through the 17th Street Bridge and we are on standby. Over. Thank you, Cap. As you know, you're going to be the first one in. Currently, right now, I have divers removing. I have two more boats to be discharged and then divers to remove. So, Cap, I'm hoping we're right on time for the sailing at 9 o'clock in the morning. So just stand by, Cap, and I'll call you at 9. Roger that. Okay, guys. Thanks very much. We're standing by. Over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So there's divers in there now again. Yeah, this is what we got here, guy. Come on out of the ship. We're talking divers, guys. We got the divers in the water. All right, you see them there in the distance. So it looks like they're removing some of the cribbing down there. Um, and they're in the water. <coughs> so I think that's what we were waiting on right here. We've, we've been here on uh, standby for a little bit. And we just started seeing these guys pop up. So there's two, four, there's like five or six guys. Courtney was telling me there's a little beach over here that locals can get to right around this area that these ships, when they leave, they basically do a huge wave uh, and it just sucks in, it sucks out the water from the beach and then it just comes right back. It almost looks like a tsunami. It's 
pretty interesting. There might be even some videos on YouTube about it. I guess put Port Everglades Beach or something. Courtney just told Henry to call him on the phone. There are the divers in the water. He said he needed 10 more minutes, so they're taking all Morning. the Kirby wood off. Uh, I'm assuming I'm not going to be here for the whole sail, and I'm just here till that sailboat goes in. Or what do you got? Courtney has another job to go to now. Tom Brady Audible? We're done. All right, so you're going to have uh, uh, John and, and well, Ozzy? Either John and Ozzy or we will come back and move the sailboat, but it's one, that sailboat's the last one to go on. So we got they got plenty of time before the sail in and yeah, get everything yeah, tied yeah, up. So, all these yachts. so you're going to go to another job now? We're going to go do another job. All right, guys. And you'll see all the yachts that are here waiting to go in as we depart right now. All right, let's get up front so we can see that. And that's it guys, the Yacht Express. And now we saw them leave and now we're gonna see who's coming in. I'll take Alfred and drop him at the station then you and I will head up the road. Right. Here's one of them. And it's just starting to rain, guys, so you might see my lens get a little wet. Um, I thought that was kind of like extremely cool. Like that whole experience, knowing that we're literally inside the ship pulling out ships. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It's pretty, I mean, yesterday when we saw that, guys, we were like, hold on, this is, this is something we're gonna wanna do. Hold on a second, let me get in here. Because it looks like we're getting some weather. take you back to the station okay so and we're gonna head up the river so you're gonna go do another job now on the, on the new river what are you yes. gonna pick up now we are going to pick up an ocean Alexander that's coming out out of what marina uh, yacht haven catamaran yeah. blue ether catamaran blue ether all right guys so if you have not seen the video that I have done Excuse with me, Ozzy and hey, John down, down the new river you got to check that video out the reason why you weren't going to start in is because you see our giant swimming pool atrium that's in the center of the ship. So what's going to happen is feel free to go starboard side alongside Como if you need a spring to stop yourself going forward. And we're just going to basically ease you in parallel park to the full side of the ship as for the drawing. Confirm you got the drawing, correct? That's Roger, I got the drawing over. Alright, yeah, so it's just a slow and steady and we'll keep you in. 
Um, I believe, you know, it's better to go stern in because of all your back stays and your forward stay, so that's the reason that was just there. So now, now you're going to... Hey, Roger, what kind of depth have we got going in there, over? You're going to be uh, doing this under weather. Um, probably... Are you Route 2.8 or that's when your red boards are down, Cap? And that's when rudder boards down, um, I just like to have a little bit down. I can put down like seven feet, so I got a bit of uh, steerage coming in over. Yeah, what will be your draft? It'll be seven feet, Cap? Seven feet. Yeah, let me just convert that into meters. So now you're gonna have to do this next tow under weather. It looks yeah, like it's gonna this, be raining. I think this will probably blow through. Yeah. Hopefully. All right, well listen, I'm gonna tell them, Courtney, to check out the last video we did. Okay. Um, which was pretty cool because we basically saved the, you saved the yacht, right? From yeah, we from a from a, an emergency. Yeah, he lost situation. he lost all his power. So yeah, and you have roughly eighty centimeters of all of our material. But we didn't expect none of that. So no. I'm gonna get I'm yeah. gonna re reference them to go watch that video. Obviously, this was an engaging video, and they also have the video that John and Ozzy did, did down the New River, yep. which is which is what he's gonna do right now, guys. And um, yeah, they did a shift and then the tow, right? Yeah, it was yeah. it was cool. I mean. Just the New River alone, it's, it's just so beautiful to film and uh, it's just such a great video, guys. And listen, if there's any other cool things that we can do with Cape Ann Towing, we will. How would they get in contact with you, just in case they, they hadn't seen this? Um, how would they get in contact with you, Courtney, if they wanted a tow or something? How would they, how would they call the company? Cape Ann Towing at gmail.com. You want to give or, a number or, out? Or Cape Ann Towing .com. And on Instagram, I saw Instagram at Cape Ann Towing. Cape Ann Towing, guys. And All right. uh, that's it. Big shout out to Chris. Guys, Alfred Mountain making a scene as always. And I already got splashes on my uh, lens. We're out of here, guys. Boom! Today's video was brought to you by Hook Optics. To get more information on Hook Sunglasses, go to hooksunglasses.com. Whiskey throttle hats and chit show gear are also available at luxuryribtenders.com. Don't forget to smash that like button on the way out.